Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and happy Labor Day to all of you guys. For those of you who are in the United States and celebrate Labor Day, relaxing at home, taking the day off. Today I wanted to share with you guys my follow up on iOS 13.1. How's the software performing? How's everything, the battery, the bugs within the software? There's a ton of things that I want to talk about. There's many bugs that I've come across. And of course, in this video, I also talk about my YouTube community poll where you guys also have an input on how the software is performing for you. So this brings everything together. It gives us a bigger understanding on how the software is performing overall. So let's just dive right in. Now 13.1 developer beta as well as public beta, these two softwares are currently out right now. You can update and we also have 13.0 beta 8 for developer for testing and there's a few things in 13.1 that are working on 13.0 that are not on 13.1 and very, very annoying ones. For example, if we go to the photos here and we go to the share options, for whatever reason we do not have all these share suggestion options here. This is very, very annoying. These were actually very helpful. On 13.0, we do have these share options here where all your recent contacts or people that you may want to share any content with will appear here. Unfortunately, that's something that's not working on 13.1. Sometimes I wonder why this is, right? Because we see this working on 13.0, but 13.1 all of a sudden, boom, gone, not working. Not sure why that is. Now, if we go to the settings application and we go to apply a wallpaper here, if we go to the apply in a wallpaper for the lock screen only take a look here this overlaps right here it just doesn't look right it just looks off i think apple needs to clean this up now besides some of the minor bugs that could be fixed with future software updates i've encountered major major issues once again with wi-fi connectivity and cell connectivity on the brand new iphones 10s 10s max and 10 are my primary test devices and i know this is related specifically to new devices because when i take my sim card out and put it in an iphone 7 network connections are great wi-fi is okay so it is definitely an issue once again on 13.1 and to be honest this has been the worst experience with the lte connectivity issues with the wi-fi connectivity issues on and off 13.1 has proven to be the worst software so far in regards to retaining that wi-fi connectivity retaining that cell connection to the iPhones. And again, this is related to newer iPhones. So if you're having this issue, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know which device if you're having this issue with. So now let's go ahead and shift our attention over to the YouTube community poll. This is where I ask you guys, how's the latest beta working for you? These YouTube polls are up every week, every time there's a new beta. So you can always come back and check back and express your thoughts and also vote. I appreciate everyone that voted this week. And the question of the week was, how's iOS 13.1 beta one and public beta one working for you? Now, 61% of you guys say a great experience, so that's a really good number. I'm happy to see that. However, 29%, and this is where I'm at, okay, some bugs. So still some bugs, as you guys just saw that I demonstrated some of the bugs that I'm currently coming across. These are minor things that can be improved, but the Wi-Fi connection issues and the LTE connection issues are definitely something that's just been ongoing forever, and it's just gotten a lot worse with 13.1. Now, a 9%, this is up a 2%, by the way, so are having a bad experience so let's just take a look at some of the comments of this week so one of the most popular comments is the keyboard still does not consistently come up so if you go to the spotlight search having issues with the keyboard consistently not coming up on your devices or when you tap on the search bar it appears that this is an issue for a lot of you guys so if you're having this issue you're not alone again guys if you can please also leave your device so that we know specifically on which device I haven't come across this issue the keyboard seems to be working for me properly but it looks like a lot of you guys are also having issues with this as well it's one of the most popular comments now the next most popular comment reads as follow i'm still on ios 13.0 beta 8 not sure about updating to 13.1 now if you want my advice on this one i would say stay put on ios 13.0 beta 8 especially if you have a newer device like an iphone 10s 10s max or even a 10r as i mentioned i continue to have those cell connection issues on those wi-fi connection issues so i would definitely stay put on 13.0 now another very popular comment something that i've experienced myself quick reply feature not working the whole screen will freeze while swiping down or 3d touch on a message yes i've encountered this myself and it looks like most of you guys are also encountering this issue by the likes on this comment so when you get a message and you 3d touch or swipe to reply to it a quick reply it would actually freeze the display so if you're encountering this issue yes this is something that i've encountered and it looks like a lot of other users are also encountering now a very very interesting Interesting comment here. I'm facing fast battery drain and heating issues on the iPhone 6s, and it appears that some of you guys are also experiencing this as well. And according to the comment below that, there's heating issues on the iPhone 7 as well.
well. So again, if you're on 13.0, I would recommend staying there. Do not update to 13.1. This software is just not what I thought it would be. It looks like we're taking a step backwards. It looks like Apple has 13.0 polished up and 13.1 just went to another direction. I'm not sure what's going on there. Now, third-party application issues here, as you see here with Instagram, there appears to be some issues there as well. Again, guys, these issues with third-party applications do have to do with Apple, but as well as developers. So that's a combination of two things there, and hopefully these will be resolved. Uh, but yeah, that's happening there as well. Issues with uh, third-party applications continue to happen. And once again, the comment below that, it says that the iPhone 6 Plus, 6 as plus users are facing battery drain and heating issues once again so this is a popular trend here heating issues and the iPhone 6s 6s plus and the iPhone 7 so those are just some of the most popular comments you guys can also read the rest of the comments and vote if you wish to do so again these are up every week on the channel after a new beta now on my personal note on my personal experience I would not recommend updating to 13.1 there's features that are just missing that are not working properly the battery is not as good you would think that after having iOS 13.0 ready to go, Apple would have iOS 13.1 polished up, but it appears that that's not the case. This was just a quick follow-up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.